Welcome to Uganda Catholic Television News. Good news for all on this beautiful Wednesday evening, the 15th of November 2023. I'm Oriama John Pasco. To begin with, Queen Elizabeth National Park in Kasese District is now one of the safest national parks following the strong security measures that have been put in place. According to the State Minister for National Guidance, Honorable Kabianga Godfrey Ikime, with the installation of various cameras in the park, a permanent UPDF deployment, patrol cars escorting tourists, there's no any single attack that will happen. The Chief Warden Queen Elizabeth National Park, Zuma Pontius, reported that the number of tourists have received at Queen Elizabeth National Park has increased and he implored members of the public to come and celebrate Christmas in Queen Elizabeth National Park. Uh, 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 one of incident where really ADF attacked uh, the tourists in the park. But since that time we have tightened the security just as uh, I told you before. And uh, when I told you of the deployed uh, very well, I think some of you doubted, but within a few days, we had captured uh, those rebels uh, who killed the, the tourists and the, and the drain. Uh, so we are still hunting for the ruminants. Uh, we are still hunting for them. And uh, our army and the uh, FADAC, the Congolese army, are on both sides of the of, of, of the national park, both Virunga and Queen Elizabeth. I think now uh, the situation is, 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 is a bit calm. Tourists that Queen Elizabeth is safe. We are now assuring there is enough security. Actually, uh, we are even uh, the, the, the um, who is now escorting most of them. You don't just go to the park uh, and now. Not that we think it is too, too secure, but we don't want to take any chances. So the, the tourism industry is back to, to normal. Yeah. Uh, one, I just want to assure all the citizens of this country and all the global uh, tourists that intend to come to Uganda and the Queen Elizabeth, it is very, very safe for you. Please organize your holidays. Come and relax in your medley of wonders. We are ready to serve you, and it is very, very safe. So I would really wish that uh, take your time, come and move around, and uh, you'll believe what I say. <laughs> was from that day, uh, especially foreign non-residents, their numbers started actually rising as compared to slightly before that, 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 that day. So uh, uh, when the numbers rose like this, that's where I began building more confidence that this incident is one unfortunate one. But still people believe that it was one of and with that confidence, we find to get the tourists coming around. So that is the scenario which is occurring right now in the Queen Elizabeth uh, uh, conservation area. And maybe another thing. As I mentioned earlier, we are working very closely with the other state uh, uh, security agencies. We have uh, deployed heavily all around on these public roads. Uh, that is cutway road where this is occurred. This is all being deployed uh, uh, along up to the main roads. And then this is Shasha Katungu Road, which is about 80 kilometers. UPDF has also deployed along it. And the, at any one moment, they are actually patrolling along this area. And on top, we have motorized um, patrols which occur. Uh, we have our staff that move cross-checking everywhere carefully and ensuring that by the time the tourists come, especially in the game drive areas, we they go and check these areas and they have things like the drones which they now fly out to scan do all the surveillance around. And that alone gives us the confidence. And since that time, literally, there are no gaps 
since uh, that incident occurred. And therefore, I really just want to assure everybody, both by Ugandans and the foreign tourists, let them never fear. We are in control and there is no such a thing that will occur in this area again. As the year end festivities and business transactions pick up pace, the police have issued a warning to mobile money dealers and village savings and credit organizations commonly known as SACOs, highlighting them being prone to armed robberies during this period. This follows a recent surge in armed robberies across various parts of the country, recording five cases in the past five days. Fred Ananga, the police spokesperson, has urged members of the public to heighten suggesting the use of security guards for significant transactions and advocating for cashless transactions to mitigate the risks. Thank you once again for watching Uganda Catholic Television News. Good news for all. It's time for us to go for a commercial break. UCTV. Good news for all. Radio Purchase, the best value-based community radio in Eastern Africa, running 24-7 with professional staff and solar energy backup of up to 500 kilowatts peak. We rock the whole of Northern Uganda and the world using seven languages on 90.9 FM and 94.5 FM in Arua on Ediofe Hill, 99.7 FM at Moyo on Adua Hill, 101.4 FM at For God in Gulu, and online at www.radiopatches.org or download the Radio Patches app from Google Play Store and Apple Store. Radio Patches, peace of Christ for all. It's unbelievable. Now, companies, businesses, and organizations can make bulk payments easily with Centenary Bank's corporate center swift to anyone without the need of a bank account anywhere, anytime, just like that. The recipient needs only their phones, national ID, and token number received via SMS to withdraw money from any center agent nearby. The Centenary Bank's corporate center swift is simple, secure, and convenient. You think it's too good to be true? Visit any of our branches countrywide or visit www.centenarybank.co.uk to know more. Centenary Bank. Centenary Bank is a member center group regulated by the Bank of Uganda. Customer deposits of up to 10 million shillings are protected by the Deposit Protection Fund of Uganda. Terms and conditions apply. Catch incredible stories of resilience, success. You can manage that money. With a topping of inspiration. Get interested in people, not interested in yourself. Inspire. Achieve. Repeat. UCTV. Good news for all. And as we conclude our bulletin this evening in sports, the final round of the National Rally Championship heads to the tourism city of Fort Porto. The event has been launched today at Fig Tree Restaurant in Kasanga. Semgenze Mustafa has the story for us. This event we are going to start, uh, first of all we are closing our entries on the 18th of this month, which is next Saturday at around six. Uh, then from there we continue the program of see how many entries we have, what can we plan for them, and on Saturday, Friday, 24th, that's when checking of cars is going to take place at Fort Fat City. So we shall give direction to the drivers to that place, uh, and uh, after screening, then we shall have an a overnight park for me at Kalia Courts. Then from there, at around 8, that is the, the publication of the start list after the stewards meeting. Then 
on Saturday, 25th, we are going. We shall start the event at around 10 at Kalia Courts. Uh, we continue to Mukwano Kalimari stage, formerly known as Renzori. 12 kilometers pro 82 kilometers. Then we shall continue with Mpanga. Mpanga is 15.49 uh, kilometers. That is the second stage. Uh, from there we continue with uh, Harugongo, which is 12.18. From there we go to Service Park. That is Saturday. Uh, then from Service Park, cars will continue to Jaguar stage, formerly known as Chakaigo stage, 6 kilometers. That is the stage which is bringing all the cars to Chakaigo Sports Arena. Then we shall have a park for me there. After all cars have gone through that stage, then we shall start the super special stage. And uh, you know it's two runs, which, is, which will start at round two. Then uh, from there we shall see where it ends and uh, that will be the end of day one. Then day two, which is Sunday, uh, cars will start at 8, uh, from there we go to the same stages, uh, Mukwano Karimari, uh, Mpanga, Arugongo, uh, then Chakaigo. Chakaigo, after Chakaigo is service. Then from service we go back, do the second loop of the two, the same sections, then we shall make a holding point for all cars to assemble, then we start the power stage, which will be the last stage of the day. So we shall give a prize to the winner of the power stage, and that will mark the end of the, the, the racing, and uh, after that we shall hold the prize giving at the same venue. We will give you a good performance. I think Fort Porto is not that new to the, to the rally drivers. We promise we will be there. Okay. My name is Raymond, the COO, Serene Fire Systems. Uh, we've endeavored to be sponsoring the rally, the rallies because we are interested, we love it, and we, we are looking forward to making sure that people are safe, first of all, because in case of fire, we expect many things that can happen. But however, we've, been given, we've given ourselves to be there in all the rallies that, that we've been manning. We've had no fire incident. That shows that we are good at what we are doing. We check the cars first on the scrutinizing to make sure they are fire compliant, like they have the fire extinguishers, they have the safety equipment that need just in case of fire to be the primary intubators, like to be the primary first aid users that they are going to use just in case of fire and themselves to put on the fireproof kit that they put on into their overalls. Before we conclude our bulletin in our stories today, police has warned members of the public to be vigilant as we head into festivities. Take a precaution, and I understand it has been a rainy day on this beautiful Wednesday evening, endeavor to move with a sweater a next day. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching Uganda Catholic Television. I'm Uriema John Pasco, and have a blessed evening. Bye-bye.